guys, welcome back to Damien Reacts. I'm back with another Dharma video for you guys today. Dad trades girl's gift for money. What happens next is shocking. Dharma and Studios. If you guys want me to do a certain effect on the lights, please refer to my first video. Um, titled Millionaire, Sister, Shames, Other uh, Sister. And I have all of the, there's 12 modes that I can have this on. So whatever you guys want, I put it in the video. So there's 1 to 12. Again, that'll be in the beginning of the last video that I posted. So if you want to, if you want the lights to be a certain way, then comment that down below just name it lights one lights two lights three etc I, I just want you guys to like enjoy the video and if it's a long one I, I don't want the lights to hurt your eyes or anything especially because they they flicker and stuff we can also make them st uh, stationary as well didn't really mention that I could also just have it as red like you know what I mean I could make it stationary oh my god this one's so freaking cute I love blue so much guys this is a darker blue that one's okay but this one's so much better bro I love this one so much, period. But we're gonna get oh we're gonna stick with number ten, because I like ten. I also have lights on the ceiling. So I'm all Christmas it up, Christmas eat up. I'm not as happy as I would be because of my water girl stolen. I mentioned that in my last video, so I'm gonna stop saying that now because it's probably getting annoying. But just so you guys know. Cause I tell you guys apparently everything and I don't shut up about my life. I might as well tell you guys what's going on in my life. So, it's cool. Wait, I didn't even say what video I'm doing. Dad trades girls get for money. What happened next to Shocking? I didn't even start this yet. Starting. So, this is a lengthy one 23 minutes, 20 seconds. So, yeah, dad trades the girl's gift for money. Wait, so the girl gave the dad a gift and then the dad traded it for money? The fuck? Sorry, we're late, Mom. Got caught up shopping. This granddaughter of yours thinks she's on Santa's payroll or something. Hello, little lady. You are gonna. Sorry, one second. My my uh, laptop's gonna die, dude. See, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm so sorry. His name's actually Scooter. Yeah, well, that's because uh, we recently moved out. We are now living at the Elmwood Estates. You drove all this way just to help me? I thought you were still around the corner. Wait, Elmwood? Isn't that the area with the government assistance housing? I can't imagine Cindy wanting to live there. Yeah, actually, um, it's just me and Belle that moved out. Uh, Cindy and I, we, uh, we split. And uh, then she fired me as her manager, so we're just, we just had to downgrade. I am so sorry. I had no idea all that was going on. And Belle is staying with you? Isn't oh, she your... Mom, can I please open the Christmas gift? Not yet. You still have a few more days until Christmas. <laughs> Honey, you can open one of mine. Thanks, Grandma. No, it's not Christmas yet. The fuck? That'll ruin everything, bro. Come on. It's a mom's job to teach your kids. And a grandma is to spoil them. Okay. <laughs> An iPad, though? Bell? Ready to go home, honey? Bye, Miss Winwood. Nice to see you. Oh, she opened up, but she didn't even like react or do anything. What the fuck? Oh, Scooter. I hate to even ask, but my BMW's been giving me trouble lately. Uh, do you think you could maybe swing by sometime soon and take a look at it? Of course. Just uh, have your mom text me. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Oh, was that someone else oh, opening the gift? Okay. It's freezing in here. Hope they fix the heater soon. It's your mom. Uh, you want to talk to her? Oh, it's their mom. Okay. 
Are you seriously day drinking right now? It's not even noon. Where's Belle? Would you put her on? She's, uh, she's taking a nap. Did you get the paperwork yet? The court date's set for the 24th. Christmas Eve? Yes, so enjoy your last few days with Belle because she will be back with me for Christmas. Why are you doing this to me? I don't understand. You're barely even home. Well, at least I have money. You don't even have a job, Scooter. And when the judge finds that out... I'm still taking care of our daughter. My daughter, Scooter. All you'll ever be is her stepdad. Didn't his... help make the baby? Or, or, or was it a different guy? And when the divorce is finalized, you won't even be that. Listen, I, um... I need to get your stuff, okay? So is it fine if I drop by the house later? No! I had the locks changed so you are not getting back in. But we'll get her stuff when she comes home. I gotta go. Tell Belle. Oh, wait, I, I really need to get her Damn, she's a biatch. Sorry, honey. Dad, this is me and I. Eviction notice or something? coming from my last job and uh, I should be able to get the money to you very fast. It's been three weeks. I think I told you that we could defer moving costs for up to two weeks. I need the balance. I understand I, and I, I'm figuring it out. Uh, I actually have been She looks kind of mean but she seems a bit understanding. She was like, you know, it's been three weeks. Like I, I gave you two but you took three. So she even kind of gave her some extra. So it's like... I get it, she needs the money too. Like, she has to have it, right? Like, she, she, she has to have it. Interview for a talent manager position next Tuesday, and the company seems very excited about uh, hiring me, so we should be all good soon. I am giving you two more days. Max, no more. Ugh, this place is so cold since the heater broke. Every time I call a technician, they want $200 just to come out here to look at, not even fix it. it it's robbery. $200? Well, if I could fix it, would you just apply whatever money you were going to give to someone else towards my balance? You can do that. Yeah. Hey, can you pass me my ranch, sweetheart? Hey, what's wrong, Bill? Hey, look. I want you to know. I'm still going to figure out a way to get you a Christmas present, okay? You don't have to worry about that. It's not that. Uh, she doesn't want to go with her mom. I only want to stay with you. No one else. Honey, look, you are not going anywhere, okay? And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure of that. What about what mom said about you not having the job? About the judge finding out? Oh, That's true. Don't worry about that, though. Don't forget, I have that big interview coming up, right? We're going to be fine. Only if you get the job. We got to talk about something much more important. Have you written your letter to Santa yet? You have? Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna fix this, right? And then we're gonna write your letter. Sound good? Okay, good. Hey, how do you think of the story? Man? I was thinking, um, yo, Santa Claus, what's up? No. No, you don't like that? How about, um, uh, happy Halloween, Santa? Like, Dad, stop. Fix the heater. I'm cool. Okay, okay. Fix the heater. All right, then. All right, Shelly. All set. That belt should last a few years, at least. Oh, you are a lifesaver, Scooter. Pam. Um, Can I pay you to teach my husband a thing or two? <laughs> uh, here you go. No, no, no. That's okay. What are neighbors for? That's crazy. Like, he, like, like he has to accept payment, bro. Like, he has to. Like... I understand just doing it to be nice, but even, like, I thought she wasn't going to pay him or anything, but yeah, like, she, like, she wants to pay him. She's like, the fuck you mean I'm, I'm not going to pay you? Like, force him to pay you the fuck? I don't know, man. Like, I get, I get he's being nice and everything, but, like, he's literally struggling with money, and he needs money now. But you don't even live around here anymore. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, Belle's waiting in the car, so I should probably get going. I tell your mom I said hi? Okay, <laughs> Um, Scooter? 
I'm praying for you and Belle. You know, as soon as we buy these stamps, we could mail your letter to Santa. <laughs> Finding everything okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. Your total is $23.63. Okay, great. Declined. It's declined. Really? Did they, um... Sorry, just let me... Let me see. Sorry. Oh. Couple new... Couple new charges just hit my account. Um... Can you... Take off the milk, please? Sure. Your new total is twenty dollars and eighteen cents. For some stamps? The... Uh, can I just buy one stamp? Okay, all right. Uh, thanks anyway. Hey, honey. I'm really sorry, but I am gonna figure this out. Okay. If you just took some, um, if you just took some money, bro, like take it, like you're, like you're literally doing jobs for others, like that's, that's basically you working for your money. Take the fucking money. I'm sorry, but take the money. What are you doing, bro? It's okay. We don't have to send my letter to Santa. What? You're right. Of course we have to send that letter. It's a letter to Santa. And you know what? I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make that happen. Okay. Like he's a great dad. He's a great dad. Not knows well, all about Mr. it. Groff, we heard about your success as a talent manager, and we do feel you are the best candidate for this position. Oh, thank you, sir. Hopefully, I'm not getting too ahead of myself, but I know that agents and managers usually get a signing bonus when they join a new company, and I'm just wondering if that's <clears throat> is that possible here. It is. Okay. However, I don't know if we can hire you, Scooter. I mean, it had nothing to do with your qualifications. It's, it's your ex. S Cindy? What? What does she have to do with anything? Well, she reached out this morning, and she's looking for a new management firm, and uh, she'd be a really good client for us. Um... You know, I, I have no issues working in the same place as her, so I, and I'll make sure to keep everything very professional. I respect that. I do. But the issue is that, well, she must have caught wind that you were going to apply here. She told us the only way she would sign with us is if we agreed to never hire you. That is so grimy, though. Like, what the fuck? Like, that is literally terrible. That is literally, like, that is awful, bro. That is so, that is so bad. Like, I just, I can't even comprehend. Like, what did he do that was so bad? Like, it's one thing if he, like, totally ruined her life and now she's trying to ruin his life. But, like, what did he ever do to her? Like, please tell me, what did he ever do to her? Like, he had to do something bad, right? Because, like, she hates him for, like, no reason, right? Like, I don't understand what's happening. Focus on me. Thank you. She was very clear. This is a non-negotiable for her. <coughs> I'm really sorry, Scooter. I really am. Now, we still haven't agreed that we would sign her as a new client, so there's... There's still a possibility. Sorry I didn't get the job, Belle. I know I let you down. You didn't let me down, Dad. You can never let me down. No, honey. This might also mean that you're not... You got me a gift? It's not for me. From Santa? Oh, it's from Shelly and Mrs. Winwood. That explains the text asking me for our address. Should we open it? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's open it inside.
Like, it does make sense why the daughter is going to have to go with the mom, because obviously the mom has money, and again, as much as money isn't everything, money is very necessary, obviously, for everything. Like, you have to pay for everything. Money's very necessary. Like, money can't buy you health. Money can't buy you friends. Real friends. Money can't buy you family. Real family. Really? You better not fall down, bro, I swear. The lights never stay away when I fucking do them, bro. Never. My life hate me. Do you want some cereal without milk? Sorry. That's okay, Dad. What's the present? A tablet! Whoa! Wow, that's uh, a very generous gift, huh? Um, I know how much you've been struggling since we left yours at your mom's place. You know what we should do? We should call Shelly and Mrs. Winwood, and we should thank them, right? One sec. So the landlord girl again? I'm really sorry, Scooter, but you're out of time. I need the $400 you owe today. Okay, I don't have that much money, in it, but if I did, I would give it to you. I'm sorry, but then you're going to have to move out tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Joan, I have nowhere else I can go, and I have my daughter with me, okay? And if I don't have a place to live, then I'm definitely going to lose custody of her. God trades girls get for money. He's, he's going to trade the iPad for money so he can pay his rent. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Joan, I have nowhere else I can go. And I have my daughter with me, okay? And if I don't have a place to live, then I'm definitely going to lose custody of her. Do you understand? I'm sorry to be rude, but then why would you buy an expensive tablet like that? No, no, that's not. I, that was a gift from our old neighbors to her. That That's not from me. It, it would look pretty bad though. It's like coming out with a brand new iPad. It's like, bitch, why the fuck would you buy that then if you can't afford rent? So honestly, I I understand her calling her out, but again, obviously she has no idea what's that, where that gift came from, so she can't just be like, yeah, why'd you get that? But like, yeah, she doesn't seem like a bad landlord. She seems pretty good, pretty reasonable. Like you have two more days. Like, you know, like she needs the money too, right? Like she has bosses too, right? So she's not trying, trying to be a bitch, but like she also has to follow the rules too, right? So it, it makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, it makes sense. I was just about to go and buy one of those for my nephew after work tonight. Please put the keys in the drop box by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Jonah, please. I'm begging you. She can't. Don't do this. There's nothing else I can do. It's out of my hands. Wait, didn't you say you're going to get one of these for your nephew, right? That's right. How about you take this one instead? No, honey. No, I'm not gonna let you give your present away. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. But how? You don't have any money. You don't even have a job. I don't want to live with mom. I'll do whatever it takes. Please take it. Oh. Is that right? Thank you. You have an amazing daughter. Consider your rent paid in full. Merry Christmas. How did you get to be so awesome? Because you're my dad, and I hope it always stays that way. begin proceedings for the custody case for Bell Abernathy. Counsel, we'll start. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. This is an open and shut case. My client is Bell's biological mother. Scooter's just her stepdad. Cindy makes seven figures. Seven figures a year. Wait, what? I know about six figures. What's seven figures? 
what is that, 110, wait, what? I don't know what seven figures is, am I stupid or something? Whatever, it's fine. Um, stepdad basically means that, like, he's not, he's not the biological father, but he is the, he's, he's the one taking care of her, right? I believe. Let me look up seven figures a year first. Hurry up and load, man. What is seven figures? A million dollars to ten million dollars. What the fuck? I did not know that's what seven figures was. Sheesh. I'm, 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 I'm definitely stupid. Stepdad meaning... Well, the fact that I'm looking up stepdad already means I'm stupid, but... just want to make sure, like, what the definition is on Google. Another term for stepfather. Well, no fucking shit, bitch. What does stepfather mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Another word for this. Oh, that's fantastic. What's that mean? A man who is the husband or partner of one's parent after the divorce or separation. Okay, so they are partners. But she had a kid with somebody else, and now they got married, and now, okay, that's the stepdad. Okay, that makes sense. Thank, thank you, Google. Thank you for educating my dumbass. Thank you very much. And I have a lot of notifications I'm backed up on. Hmm. There's a year as a successful model. She lives in a beautiful home in a nice neighborhood. Scooter is unemployed, lives in the projects. He is completely unfit to take care of Belle. I mean, the only reason we're standing here arguing about this is that he's brainwashed her into thinking she needs to live with him. And my client has graciously decided not to involve the police. That, that is not true. Belle decided to be with me on her own. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't brainwash anyone. Please wait your turn, Mr. McGraw. Continue, counsel. As I stated, this should be an open and shut case. Belle belongs with her mom and not her unemployed stepdad. Damn. Good morning, Your Honor. Um I'll be honest. Some of the things that you have heard about me today are true. Are true. I am unemployed. I don't live in a great apartment, but I do take care of my daughter as best I can. Belle is. She's my whole life. Everything I do, I do it for her. And even though that she's not my biological daughter, I'm still much more of a parent to her than Cindy ever was. Oh, shit. You see, a couple years after we were married, when Cindy wanted to get into modeling, I fully supported her. I even did her first photo shoot for her. And after some time, Cindy started booking some gigs. So here, here's the backstory on, on what happened. This is what I was asking for. Who's messaging me? I see no, I see messages coming, but I'm like, there's no messages coming. Oh, no, there it is. Because my phone died, and then I didn't actually fully log in to, like, restart it, and now all my notifications are coming in. And since she didn't want to deal with contracts, she hired me as her manager. So I left my handyman job to work for her full time. So you work for your wife. Damn. No one would have ever guessed how much Cindy's modeling career would take off. She started booking gigs left and right. Well, she's hot as fuck, that's why. We could barely keep up. Everyone wanted her. Before you knew it, we were living the dream. New house, new car, everything we could ask for. Life seemed to be changing for the good. But little did I know, Cindy was changing for the worst. She was partying and drinking a lot. And I tried to tell her to slow down. And then she started neglecting me. And then yeah, I was going to say, and then eventually their daughter. 
Um, I was gonna say that in the Anne Cora, like she looks like she's like like she looks fucked up. Like she looks kind of fucked up. Not gonna lie. So yeah, I do kind of agree. Like she does look already like kind of messed up and already looks kind of like and, like her eyes were like I don't know. She just was tired or drunk or high. Like, she looks yeah. She doesn't look good. Like she's still hot, but she doesn't look good. <laughs> if that makes any, any Actually, sense. Well, but Cindy didn't care. She was too caught up in all the glitz and glam. So, during all Cindy's work trips and modeling gigs, I'd stay home and take care of Belle. And we built a really special, inseparable kind of bond. Even though Cindy was always gone, Belle and I made the most of it. That is, until I found out Cindy's work trips were more than just work. Oh. She left me with no choice but to leave. So, you see, Your Honor, after she cheated on me, she fired me. And now, I'm just trying, as best I can as a single dad, to figure it all out. And I'm doing that all while I'm trying to raise my little girl. Is this true, Mrs. Abernathy? Do you have a drinking problem? No. This is absolutely ridiculous. She looks strong. I do not have a drinking problem. Are you intoxicated now, Mrs. Abernathy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. No. Approach the bench, please. Exhale. I can smell the alcohol. Have you been drinking? No. I mean, just a couple of drinks at lunch. I'm a good mother. I swear. Of that, I have no doubt. When you're sober. But if you can't even show up to a court hearing that will decide the fate of your daughter without drinking on Christmas Eve, well then, there is a problem. You need to get help, Mrs. Evans. Facts. I know. I know. And for that reason, custody will remain with Mr. DeGroff. For now. You must get a job within the next 15 days, Mr. DeGroff. If you don't, custody will go back to Mrs. Abernathy. I'm so, Your Honor, it's the holidays. The, the, getting a job would be impossible. Uh, I will figure it out. Court is adjourned. Bro, you literally have a job. You're just not letting people pay you for it. Y you can fix furnaces. You can fix other shit. Like you're you're doing shit for others. You can fix cars. You're literally a mechanic. You're a, you're a heater fixer. Like charge people. The fuck. Like you literally have a job, you're just not working. Or you're not taking the money. Like you're working, you're not you're just not taking the money. Well, honey. I love you so much. Okay, and I promise you I'm gonna do everything I can to get better, okay? I promise. Why are you still working, Dad? I'm just looking for a job, sweetheart. I, uh, I've applied to 113 companies so far. Not one response. Maybe Santa will give you a job for Christmas. Yeah. 
You were right. 113 companies, that was crazy, bro. You're right, sweetheart. Hello? Hi, is this Scooter DeGroff? Yes, it is. I'm sorry to call you so late on Christmas Eve, but I didn't want to wait. Uh, isn't this the guy from the beginning of, of the video? This is Thomas Dory. I interviewed you about the talent manager position recently. Yeah, I remember. You said you couldn't hire me because you were signing my ex. Well, that's changed. Cindy called us and said she had no problem if we hired you. She even actually spoke very highly of you and said you're a great dad. So, we'd love to offer you the job if you're still interested. And a $50,000 signing bonus. Oh my god! Yes, 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 I would, love, I would love to take that. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Merry Christmas, Scooter. Looking forward to working with you. Can you believe that? This means you could stay with me. I told you Santa was going to give you a job for Christmas. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's wrong? I just realized that I didn't get you anything. I... I'm a terrible father. But Dad, Santa gave me everything I asked for. Read it. Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas is to live with my dad. Scooter. He is the best. Love, Belle. Uh, I don't suppose you want to... Hey, guys. Merry Christmas. Well, I just baked some Christmas cookies, and, um... Uh... I was hoping that maybe I could come drop them off along with some of Belle's stuff. Would that be okay? Yeah. I don't like that. They didn't add that part in. That would, uh, that would have been so cute. So it's good because in the end she kind of like realized that she had a problem, that nothing was ever the dad's fault, and then she realized that it was her wrongdoing. And got the dad basically hard back, and that's really good, guys. Or not, well, yeah, guys. That, that that's a really good ending, guys. Like that's really good. That was a really sweet ending too. That was just that was like it wasn't hard to watch, but it was just sweet. Like it was, wow. <sighs> what I really love about this is that even though the mom was made to be the bad bad person, she realized at the end that she was wrong, and changed to help her daughter. I prefer seeing people change for the better than living life as the villain. P uh, re redemption arcs are amazing. That line of it's a mom's job to teach them and a very and a grandma's to spoil them. That is very credit with my grandma and, her, and mom. Why doesn't require love or why <laughs> doesn't require love? Of course, of course, it requires love. That way doesn't require blood. It requires love and care. That melted my heart. The strong bond the father and daughter had was amazing. Congrats on 20M. It shows so much you taught us and how great your videos are. You deserve it and so much more too. Keep up the great work. It's maybe it's maybe cry. Love the ending. Congrats on 20 million subs. Thanks to Dar Darman's story, it really inspired me being a single mother too. It really isn't easy, easy for me. Life's so tough. <sighs> a lot of people are going through stuff, man. Whether it's whether it's things like drinking, whether it's like an alcohol problem, drug problem, whether you don't have a job, you don't have money, you're alone, you're single, like whatever it is, there's always someone going through something. You know what I mean? So to, like, just everyone's going through something. Um, it's not easy, for sure it's not easy. Um, I really hope that you guys are doing okay. Um, I really hope I found my wallet too though, because my, my, my life is in there. But if not, then I guess I'll have to order everything again, but all my cards and everything that I lost. But And the wallet I have is actually pretty good too, so I just it just sucks that I don't have it. But <clears throat> yeah, I really hope that has nothing to do with this video but like you know what I mean like there's always someone going through 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 stuff whether it's simple like losing a wallet or whether it's like you know things like her everyone's going 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 through something so be kind try to help don't shame anybody try to help them if anything 
And uh, I guess that's the best thing you can do, guys, is try to help people. You shouldn't shame. You shouldn't put anyone down. You should just try to help everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. Comment down below. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in to Damon Yachts. For this video, I'm holding 10 fingers. Let me know in the comments down below how many fingers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Peace.